Hi. Yeah, I had a Issei Nakajima Farron. Yeah, I had a 6 of Tuba. It's built for Issei Horses. Oh no, it's a uh, uh, legendary Jack Nicholson. Well, painting has always been uh, something that takes my mind off football. You know, frustrating times like this also, which, uh, you know, you disconnect yourself from the, your, your lifestyle, which is football. One of uh, AC Horson's fans have contacted me through Facebook to, uh, to do Jack Nicholson. I think he's one of his favorite uh, stars and he really wanted it. And um, so I told him, yeah, give me a couple months and uh, yeah. I guess everybody has uh, different uh, views and opinions on football, and which makes very, which makes football very interesting, but at times also frustrating. So I guess I'm at the I'm at the frustrated part right now. You know, the coach obviously has his preference, and uh, yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta deal with that. Either you say something and get in trouble, or you, you know, just shut your mouth and just get get your head down and work hard. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Just trying. To, um, just trying to work hard, yeah. Uh, I'm second top scorer, I think, with four goals. So it's not a lot, but still the second top scorer. So I guess um, I hope to make my, you know, prove my point. I guess when I, if when I get the chance. And I mean, I, I enjoy the process, but I think the main enjoyment is like when you get it up on that wall. It complements the other furniture, or you know, the, the type of guy that's living there. Or I actually started when I actually broke my foot when I was uh, 13 and my dad, you know, I, I can do anything. I mean, the whole time I spent outside playing football anyway in, in England at the time. And uh, yeah, my dad took a, um, a sketch pad and a pencil and said, here, uh, draw something. I did something and my dad was like, wow, that's really good, son. I was like, yeah, oh, thanks, dad. And <laughs> ever since then, it just kind of like kicked off to, uh, yeah, to guys' apartments now. And then I did this one of uh, cashmere. For my, for my captain, Niels Loibia. And I always sleep in front of my work as well. So it's like, sometimes I don't know what, what else to do. And until I'm happy, I, I, you know, it's not finished. I know sometimes I'll stare at it for, for weeks until I decide, okay, now I'm there or whatever. With that Japanese background, how was it to see what happened down there? Oh, I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was dreadful. My brother's in Tokyo and I have a, a lot of friends in Tokyo that also felt, you know, that the, that life was almost over with that huge shake, and it's hard to hear you, you know your close friends telling you about their experiences and and their friends who actually lost their parents or couldn't find their parents for a week. Some found their parents, some couldn't find their parents. And you have done some charity work here from Denmark. Yeah. Um, so far, I've uh, I've contacted all the sports directors of all the Super League clubs and some Division One clubs. Let's do something good as a as a Super League club and players. I'm only asking for 1,500, 200 crowns, whatever. You know, something you'd spend at a cafe in a day. Um, just asking for that little portion, and uh, and hopefully I'll. And then once that batch is collected, I will send it to the Japanese Federation, which will go to um, raising funds for the football pitches that's been uh, ruined. Uh, it's a small world, you know. Every little helps. I think doing a little good comes around in a, as, as a good karma in, in different in different in different ways. Oh, but he wants yellow in it, so I don't wait for the yellow actually. 